don't think this threads uh, about questioning uh, anyone's integrity. Uh, I think Ken started this thread to uh, help Carlos and possibly help the UAMCC uh, in a positive light um, get through uh, some tough questions and some tough answers. Um, you know, it's a potential that there aren't uh, there there's that all members uh, are possibly not in agreement with um, the UAMCC quarterbacking. Uh, national contracts. Um, we've gone from introducing RFPs uh, into now uh, potentially, uh, you know, making decisions on who's going to get these contracts and who's not going to get these contracts. Uh, there has to be some sort of a program in place um, for anybody that's doing this, uh, especially a national organization uh, that has a fiduciary responsibility to each and every member. Um, this has to be handled uh, with kid gloves. Um, obviously, from this situation here, uh, you know, hopefully we're going to learn from our mistakes uh, and do some things differently. Um, and I think that Ken's looking not, to, you know, to to put Carlos up on a cross here, but to uh, better uh, the the judgment of the entire transition team in making these decisions in the future. Uh, and I think he's looking for. Uh, answers and questions uh, rather than the ridicule Carlos on this. Uh, I, I just, I, it, it, it bothers me a little bit to, to see some of the answers here as if, um, one, first of all, yeah, the, Carlos has done a great job uh, and he's going to make mistakes. He's a man. Uh, everybody's going to make mistakes um, in anything that they do. And I'm sure this isn't going to be the last mistake that he makes. Uh, his perseverance through this um, and potentially um, guys being around him to direct him uh, to get back on the right path and move forward is what he needs now. Um, but to say that there wasn't mistakes made uh, and, and maybe brushed him underneath the carpet, uh, I think is the wrong thing to do to the membership and the wrong thing to do publicly. Uh, I think that there's an accountability here that has to be addressed and more so uh, the ability to find out what we can do in the future to make these things go a little smoother, uh, more fair, uh, and to properly assure that the contractor's interest as far as profit potential uh, is involved. Now, this brings up my point that the uh, this particular management company that uh, is handling this one has already previously had uh, numerous contractors convey to me that they've had situations where uh, they're not making profit uh, executing these accounts. <laughs> you know, I, and I'm not going to name names. Uh, that's not what I'm here to do. But I do wish these people would come forward and speak uh, about the dilemmas and the problems so that others don't continue to get. Uh, involved in things that potentially can, could be harmful to them, their business, or their families. Um, that being said, in the future, I think that you know there, there definitely has to be some kind of a uh, committee put together in the way that this would be done fairly and that be assured that these kind of things won't happen in the future. Uh, Certainly, yeah, even Carlos as the executive director, uh, and I know we're all young and this is, this is a learning curve for everybody and there really isn't a code uh, laid out yet because we don't have an official board uh, in place right now. We have a transition team with an executive director and this is something that probably you know, needs to be addressed or potentially uh, the stopping of uh, trying to persuade these uh, agreements should stop until something like this is in place. Um, do I want the UAMCC uh, uh, negotiating national contracts for myself? Um, no, uh, I would have to say I would be particularly against that. Uh, would the guy that's been six months, a year, two years in business be for that? Certainly, and it would be a huge benefit to him. Uh, am I saying I would like it that if UMCC wouldn't do this? Uh, the only way that I would be against this is if this were going to be something that was in a non-profitable situation. 
if we were talking about one uh, agreement after the other where we were lowering the standards of the industry uh, and lowering the prices, obviously no one would be for that. Uh, but obviously we don't know what this is about yet. Uh, so the verdict couldn't certainly be out on it yet. Uh, and that will, we'll wait to see what happens with that. Um, but, you know, again, I, you know, nothing, nothing against Carlos's integrity ever here was in question in my mind, uh, as it relates to what he had told, uh, Russ Spence this morning. Uh, I would look at that as a very savvy marketing tool to uh, get a member that he wanted very badly on board. Was it bad judgment? Probably. Uh, was it a mistake? Probably. Would I possibly have tried to do that myself? Possibly. If, uh, if I thought somebody was that important to me, uh, of course I would do what I needed to do to uh, persuade them, get them on my, my team. Uh, obviously he felt uh, compelled that Russ was uh, is an important uh, piece of the puzzle for him uh, to have a commercial contractor of Russ's status on board. Um, you know, I can't uh, I can't say that uh, he was necessarily wrong. Possibly the the way he went about it uh, may look may look a little uh, unprofessional in the terms of how other members and other non-members may view it. Uh, but does it question this man's entire integrity and the good that he's done up until this point? Uh, I would say um, not. I would say up until now, everything with UMCC has been positive. Uh, I think this is just a hurdle that they're going to have to get over, but I think it's a hurdle that they're going to have to address, fix, repair, uh, and mend. And hopefully uh, it's not like anything that any past organizations have had with problems uh, and situations uh, that, that you have to deal with. Of course, we're all men. We're all going to make mistakes. Uh, it's going to happen. And I'm sure that Carlos is probably going to make mistakes in the future, uh, as well as uh, future presidents and future board members are going to make mistakes. It's going to happen. Uh, and should the industry here come unraveled because of this? Uh, I don't think so. Um, but one thing is, is in the next, you know, coming weeks and up until the election time, uh, something really drastically has to happen as far as uh, some sort of procedure or stopping of this until uh, they can get it underhand and find out what the resolution is uh, to take care of the problem. And I believe that's what Ken started this thread for. Uh, was to get opinions and ideas of what is needed to be done uh, and to be helpful uh, to Carlos and the transition team and the rest of the members to move forward.